Hey, good morning, guys. Um, I am heading off to my first day at the hospital. It is currently 4.45 here. I got up at 4. Um, so our bus leaves in about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go grab some breakfast real quick. Um, but I'm so excited. I'll show you guys my scrubs. All right, so these are my scrubs. They are... Um, unisex so my top is like really big on me even though it's a small so i'm just gonna have to live with it but um yeah so this is my outfit so yeah so i'm so excited i can't wait to get back tonight and tell you guys how the day goes just got my third covid test since we've been on this trip and it does not get any easier <laughs> i am back in my hotel from our first day at the hospital. We didn't spend a whole lot of time on the units. We ended up going off with our unit educator. She took us on a tour of the hospital. It was, it was a good informative day. We learned a lot, but we didn't spend that much time on the unit. Um, but the little bit of time we did spend on the unit, I feel like I kind of got a good impression of how it's gonna be. Tomorrow, we're gonna be on the unit longer than today. So I'm excited to uh, just see how everything goes. I'm exhausted. I have already ordered some dinner. It should be here soon. I'm gonna shower and head straight to bed because 4 a.m. comes really early. So um, yeah, that's it for now. I am getting ready to hit the hay. I just got finished FaceTiming all my favorite people from home. They're doing a Mother's Day brunch today. Um, which is really special. I wish I could be there, but thank goodness for FaceTime. So another early morning tomorrow. Let's see how day two goes. Day two at the hospital. I am back from day two at the hospital. It wasn't a full day. We left at like five, but we were on the unit most of the day today and it was, it was good. It was an interesting day. It was a little bit busy, but just interesting to see how they do things here. We actually got our schedules today um, for what we're working the rest of the month. I am alternating between days and nights. At this particular hospital, that's what they do. All the nurses rotate. It'll be interesting. They said we'll be training on orientation for about a week. Um, so the last two days didn't really count since they were more like shadowing days. Um, so starting Saturday, I will be training and I will be training for a week and then I will be on my own. So that's exciting, kind of nerve wracking, but exciting. A lot of things are similar to what we do. So it hasn't taken that long to catch on to how to do just basic nursing. So um, that hasn't been bad. We have tomorrow off and I'm so excited. I just sat on my back patio to eat dinner. I got, um, well, let me just show you. So I got some butter chicken, so that's it there. And then they give you some rice to go with it. It's delicious. And a glass of wine. Hey, good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday. So today is our day off. So I took advantage of that and I slept in. And then I ordered some breakfast and you guys, have to see this breakfast. It's so much food. So I ordered waffles and asked for a side of fruit and they gave me a whole plate of fruit. Then I asked for a side of hash browns. They gave me eight hash browns. And I asked for a small coffee. That's a big coffee. <laughs> I, I have no words. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my breakfast. In case you guys want some, come over. I have extra. <laughs> Whew. So it is, it's still Tuesday, um, my day off. It's now later in the day. It's like 5. And actually right after I finished filming my breakfast, I got a message that one of my corona tests had come back positive. So what we had to do is we had to get tested three times. Once before we left, once on day four, and once on day 14. And um, we were mandated to quarantine at the hotel besides being allowed to go to work um, for the first 14 days. So we were tested before we left. We were also tested when we got here in the airport. Then I was tested on Sunday, which was day four. 
Um, and we got the results back today and mine was positive. There were a couple of us who actually tested positive. So the message said that we needed to go back to the hospital and get retested today. Uh, so a bus picked us up and took us to the hospital. We got retested and now we're back. So the chances of it being a false positive are very high, but it's not 100%. So it's a little bit scary. I definitely was not okay when I opened that message earlier. I ended up calling Jake. It was four in the morning, his time, and I was just sobbing. I couldn't even get my words out. Um, I was shaking. I was just so anxious. I'm doing a lot better now. I'm in a much better place. I'm actually sitting here doing my Bible study. We have to stay in our rooms for at least 24 hours or until we get the results back. However, we have to have two negatives. If today's comes back negative, we have to get tested again tomorrow, um, tomorrow morning. And then hopefully that one comes back negative. And then Thursday, we're cleared. So as of right now, I'll be in my room till Thursday. Hopefully the next two come back negative for everybody. If not, if they are positive, then I believe it's two weeks quarantine. So yeah, so uh, I said that I would film everything while I'm here or as much as I could. So I figured I wouldn't leave this out. That's, that's really it. So I just ordered some dinner. So I'm gonna eat, um, finish up my Bible study and then just hang out i guess so i will update you guys hopefully once i hear something about the test today so i will talk to you guys soon